Hello and welcome to another video. So today I am going to be planning out the week of June the 15th through June the 21st in my Erin Condren hourly planner. And the first thing I'm going to do is lay down my date covers. These date covers are the sum total for the inspiration of this layout. I knew I wanted to use these date covers and then I just kind of worked from there, whatever matched I used. And as you will see here in a second, once I get everything whited out, they are a set of date covers that are part of this perforated washi tape that came in one of the more recent Simply Gilded subscription boxes. And it's kind of a sage green kind of color. And so because I knew I wanted to use those date covers, I kind of pulled in more stuff from that box. So I used the washi tape from that box these covers, and then pulled in some things from a few Happy Planner sticker books to kind of tie it all in together. So now that I've started to lay down this date cover, I will put us into the time lapse. So now we are operating at three times speed as I lay these date covers down. One thing about them is that they are sized for a regular Erin Condren, which means that if you rip them apart, there are the spaces in between them, whereas the hourly doesn't have that space in it like the vertical Erin Condren does. So trying to keep these spaces even was probably the hardest part about laying down these date covers. Part of me considered not ripping them apart at all and just centering like a long strip over the center at the top of the whole page. But I don't know, I might experiment with that the next time I use these just to not have to make sure that all the spaces are even. Overall, I think they came out all right. I think only the space between Friday and Saturday is a little too big, and that's because the Friday date cover got put down a little too far to the left, but it's not really that big a deal. And then I used my Sakura Micro Perm in the 03 size to write in the dates. I considered hunting down some date dots, but didn't want to go through that effort of finding them. So I just wrote them in. The micro perm writes fairly well on the washi tape, like it stays, but you have to go over each line a couple of times to really build up the color, otherwise it's a little streaky and doesn't quite, it's not dark enough. It's kind of weird the way it writes because the washi tape is a little waxy. But once you get it down, it is permanent, so it works more or less. Then I went in and I added some five millimeter vines and heart washi tape at the top. This is also from the recent subscription box. I think it's the May sub box. And I put that up there because I feel like the space at the top, the white space, is so huge. These This year's planners and then even the most newest ones that Erin Condren has come out with, that white space at the top is super awkward to me. There's so much of it up there and it feels like wasted space. But I use washi tape up there a lot of the time to kind of deal with that. Then at 3 o'clock on Monday, I put in this doctor appointment sticker to mark that I have a doctor's appointment at 3 o'clock. It actually, the sticker takes up 3 hours and I don't expect the appointment to really take that long, but it is going to take a chunk of time because my, the doctor's office is like 20 minutes from where I live. Then you've got the time that I'm actually going to be there. I expect the whole trip to take like an hour and a half, but then if we decide to stop before or after to do anything, like get groceries, or I know I need to put something into the mail, that kind of thing, it's just gonna take up time. So I didn't find it a problem that the sticker was so big. Then I went in with this pink and green washi tape and decided to mark in when I wanted to wake up. And as you can see here, Monday through Wednesday, it's actually different from what I've been doing. I have been just very optimistically planning to wake up at 7 and just kind of hoping that if I put it in enough, someday I'll do it. But it's not working. And it kind of wastes space in my planner because then this whole first chunk of hours I don't do anything with. I'm sleeping through them. I have to reschedule the stuff I planned up there anyway. It just doesn't make any sense. So I decided to do this tiered, like slowly working my way up to 7 o'clock schedule. Right now, I wake up at like 11 or noon most of the time. 
So Monday, I just want to try waking up at 10 a.m. That's it. It's still pretty late in the morning, but it is early for me. And then Tuesday, I want to try to wake up at 9. And then Wednesday at 8. And then hopefully by the latter half of next week, I've actually worked my way up to 7. Now, that might still be too quick. Like, maybe I should have put in that I should try to wake up at 10, 2 or 3 days, and then work my way back by an hour. But, I don't know. I'm just experimenting here. So, I did it like that. The pink marks when I wake up. And, usually in that box, I also include things like um, to-dos, like shower change, and then read or play Animal Crossing, or something else that's part of my morning routine, or my ideal morning routine. But, I'm using that washi tape as just... A catch-all placeholder wake up in this hour do the stuff I usually do so wake up take a shower grab some coffee and then whatever it is I'm going to do in the morning probably read a little and then at the top I added some more washi tape just to take up the space where I don't need that note space I really only need the six o'clock hour for note space and then also didn't have anything to plan because I would more than likely be asleep at that time so I just added a bit more of the like beige 5mm washi and then the floral bow washi. And then you also saw me put the gold box in, which was a combination of two Happy Planner stickers, a polka dot one, and then a script sticker that said Rise and Shine. And I put that there because it seemed pretty thematic given that one of the things I'm working on this week first and foremost is to wake up earlier. And then using a few dot stickers from a Happy Planner book, I put in the videos that I want to get up this week. And there are three of them. In addition to the Plan With Me daily videos, which go up pretty much every day, except Wednesdays now. I've decided to take Wednesdays off just because I need a break. Like putting up a video every single day, it takes so much of my efforts. So I wanted to have a day off. It's officially Wednesday, but every other day there will be a new video. Then over in the sidebar, I used a gray mild liner to make some checkboxes, and I'm putting in a couple of things that I want to do next week. One of which is making sure that I do some prep, some notes for a video I want to post on my first year teaching. And then I also want to plan a video for having reached 100 subscribers. I really want to reiterate and reform my channel introduction video. I did it over two years ago and I kind of want to have make a new one that rephrases and more better formalizes my like mission statement for my channel, the goals that I want to accomplish with it, the kind of content that I hope to put out there and things like that. I feel like I have a much better idea of what that is now than I did wait two years ago when I didn't know what I was doing at all. And now I have a bit more of a foundation in like the kinds of things I like to do and the reasons that I'm doing them and things like that. So that's a video that I want to plan out hopefully next week. I want to get it up sometime late June, maybe July. And then I'm going in now to add my Instagram post outline. I stopped mapping this out for a couple of weeks, but I want to get back into it. So I did that next to the awkward hexagons at the bottom and then at the very top i found this script sticker that says payday to mark that friday is my payday technically i get paid on the 5th and the 20th however if the one of those falls on the weekend then i get paid the friday before so since the 20th is on a saturday my check should clear the 19th on the friday now i'm going in with this Gray mild liner to mark bills. So my Simply Golded subscription renews on Wednesday, which actually is wrong. It usually renews on Wednesday, but because I'm moving, I asked them to move my renewal and therefore my shipment of the June box until the 30th. So that's when the money gets taken out. That's when it gets shipped because I'm moving and I didn't want it to not make it to my current address in time nor did I want it to get to my new address too early. So I need to make a mental note of that. I'm also putting in these read stickers. 
One to mark that I want to start reading first thing in the morning. That's a slight difference from the way I have previously outlined my morning schedule, which started with a bit of Animal Crossing. I'm switching it up. I'm thinking about maybe trying to just go into some reading first. And I like these stickers because it has a little quarter box place to actually write in whatever I plan to read that day or whatever I did read. Just to kind of map it out, I'm in the middle of two books that I'm reading on my own right now. And that will probably be the case for all of next week as well. And then, yeah, so I'm doing that and then I'm whiting out the 7 o'clock hour so that I could get a bit more of this floral washi tape in. So the 10 millimeter Simply Gilded washi tape actually fits within one of these hour blocks almost perfectly. So I was really excited to see that. And this just marks out like my evening. So I usually plan and work and do things on my own until about seven o'clock. And then afterwards I leave my evenings pretty much free to do things with my boyfriend. So read a book, watch TV, clean, etc. And those two spaces there are for if there's anything we actually plan to do. We don't have a lot of set plans for what we do in the evenings unless there's like something we really need to clean then we might um, agree ahead of time okay on this day tonight we're going to prioritize getting that cleaned or getting that packed or something like that that goes in those slots at the very very bottom then on saturday i am pulling this sky blue banner sticker to mark that it's a friend's birthday on saturday and then also on saturday i previously marked that i pay towards my credit card as well as ri so ri stands for renter's insurance i need renter's insurance at my apartment they require that tenants have renter's insurance and the policy renews in august so i have to start saving for that because it's not a ton in the grand scheme of things like I expected it to be more it's a couple hundred dollars but it's enough that I can't just pay it in one month suddenly like I have to save for it so I'm starting to save for it over the months of June and July and that's another thing that I needed to note then I'm going in with these little controllers to mark that I want to play Animal Crossing in the mornings and these controllers are from a printable sheet file thing by Ramona and Friends and they technically aren't a Nintendo Switch sticker. I don't even know what kind of gaming system that might be. I think it's more like an Xbox controller but it's fine. It's a small little controller sticker to mark playing a video game which is all I needed it to be. So I put that in and then I think the last thing I do is put in my YouTube stickers to mark what I'm going to be working on updating the subtitles on videos, working on the Plan With Me Daily series, the editing and uploading for that, that kind of thing. And for a while, I considered using these little triangles in the Happy Planner Bright sticker book, but I didn't have any colors that I liked. So I went into this binder where I've been keeping these stickers that I print and cut a while ago and then I like these YouTube icons. It's from the shop Thanksis, T-H-A-N-K-S-I-S, -S, and they are on Etsy. So I recently bought several of their stickers, print and cut them, and put them on here. On the back of the sheet where I have these full script YouTube stickers, there are also some little YouTube play buttons. But my silhouette was being super weird and those are not cut right so i've been using these a lot ideally i'd like to use the play buttons but i'm going to have to reprint them and then recut them then at the very bottom on the weekend i just put this hello weekend sticker which is also a printable from the same shop as the youtube icon script sticker things and that pretty much makes this spread. So I don't think I add anything else except for Friday. So I take a minute to think in real time, but then I remembered that Friday at 8 o'clock is the Blackout Buddy Read live show because this is the last week of the Buddy Read. I am almost finished reading White Rage, and this week I will be reading White Fragility, which is the second book 
for that buddy read and then hopefully tuning into the live show when it is live at 8 o'clock on Friday. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!